Today, we're checking out the JBL Pulse 5 wireless Bluetooth speaker. As the name suggests, this is the fifth generation of the Pulse, so they've had a few attempts to get this right. Let's take a look at everything you can do in the app, the different light modes, and find out if it sounds as good as it looks. Let's talk about it. Quick disclaimer, JBL is not sponsoring today's video. I 110% paid for it out of my own pocket, so you can expect an honest, unbiased opinion. That said, if you find this video helpful and want to help support my channel, you can do so by using the links in the description. It really does make a difference. The JBL Pulse 5 retails for $249.99 and is marketed as the perfect portable speaker to take with you to the lake, the beach, or just the pool thanks to its handy carrying strap and the fact it's IP67 dustproof and waterproof up to a depth of 3 feet. In the box, you'll get the Pulse 5 speaker, a USB Type-C charging cable, a quick start guide, and a safety sheet and warranty card which, when registered, will get you a one-year limited warranty. Now, obviously, the main feature you're going to notice is the fully customizable 360-degree light show feature, which allows you to customize the LED light that spans across the body and can sync to your music with various light modes, which we'll take a look at once we're inside the app. It's got a lithium-ion battery that promises up to 12 hours of playtime with a 4-hour charge time, can connect up to two separate smartphones or tablets via Bluetooth 5.3, and is compatible with Alexa, Bixby, Google Assistant, and Siri. You can also link two separate Pulse Fives together for stereo sound. It promises bold sound and deep bass with JBL's All Original Pro Sound, which delivers in all directions thanks to its up-firing .63-inch tweeter on the top and its 2.5-inch woofer on the bottom. But we'll see just how good it sounds in a bit. You've got physical buttons under the strap, which include a power button, Bluetooth button, light show button, a party boost button to sync with other Pulse Fives, a battery meter, and the USB-C charging port. It stands at 8.5 inches tall, has a width of 4.2 inches, a depth of 5.2 inches, and weighs in at 3.2 pounds. And there's no doubt about it, as far as portability goes, it's going to be a great companion to bring along to your outdoor activities, but let's take a detailed look at the JBL Portable app to see what we can do. On the top, you'll have your device name with a picture of the speaker to the right of it. And since there are so many light show modes, I'm going to pause for a little bit as far as the talking goes and demonstrate what some of these look like before we eventually see how it sounds. Under the light show mode section, we have a color mode where you can set a static color if you prefer. Under that is a brightness control setting where, of course, you select how bright or dim the speaker is, a tempo control if you want to speed up the pattern you have set, an EQ section which consists of a bass, mid, and treble setting, and finally ambient sounds where you can choose from a variety of sounds to help you sleep or relax, as well as set a timer for how long those sounds play.
Underneath ambient sounds, we've got a toggle to turn on or off your feedback tone, your user guide, a spot to update software if necessary, and the play boost button to sync with other speakers. Now that we've got everything out of the way regarding these specs, features, and app abilities, let's run through that sound test. So, after testing the JBL Pulse 5 and letting my ears adjust to the sound, would I recommend it? Absolutely. Now, there are more powerful options out there that will definitely deliver more power and bass, but then you're talking about a bigger, heavier device that takes up more room, and if all you need is a small, portable speaker that won't be a hassle to transport and has a solid quality sound, the Pulse 5 is a winner. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Pulse 5 and if it's on your radar as a possible companion when you hit the lake or beach. Now, looking at other YouTube reviews, I'm a few months late on this one, but me and the wife are trying to plan more outdoor activities, so it seemed like a good investment. Now, let's see if it can handle this brutal Texas heat. If you found this video helpful, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you can see what's coming next. That's going to wrap things up for today, so until next time, thank you for watching, stay tuned, and have a great rest of your day.